So as you know, uh, relapse refractory patients have very poor outcome. Uh, so we wanted to study the, in the role of Venaza used off-label uh, for patients uh, with refractory or first relapse, uh, AML. So we included 35 patients and we compare this cohort with an historical uh, cohort of 140 patients treated with ASA monotherapy. And we, uh, so the median age was 66, 60% of patients had poor risk cytogenetics and 26 received the prior uh, allogenic transplantation. Uh, duration uh, of CR1 for the patient was six months in the two groups. So we observed that they were not, first thing we observed that there was not an, an excess of toxicity in the Venaza group compared with Aza alone, monotherapy, as uh, 90 days early death was 17% in Venaza versus 20% in Aza monotherapy group. Second point, CR rate was higher in uh, Venaza uh, group. It was 58% versus 21% in the Aza monotherapy group. And overall response rate was also higher in the Venaza group, around 60% versus 30% in the Aza group. Also, also, we observe a median overall survival overall survival of 13 months in uh, the Venaza group versus eight months in Aza monotherapy group. Main predictive factor uh, for better survival in the cohort was allogenic, the, was the absence of uh, allogenic transplants before Venaza and uh, pro, uh, the absence of pro-risk cytogenetics. So in conclusion, we can uh, uh, conclude that uh, Venaza can be a good salvage treatment for selected patients.